Hi. Do you get confused with the sounds e, eh, a, ah, and a? Ah? Do they get all muddled up in your mouth? And they never sound quite right. Then you've come to the right place. Because today I'm going to show you my simple way of getting them right by comparing all three of these sounds together so you know exactly what's happening in your mouth. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to say them like a native. No problem. So let's go. There are three main things to focus on when getting a vowel sound right. The jaw position, the tongue position, and the lip position. So first of all, let's look at the jaw position. There are three positions with these sounds. Almost closed, neutral, and open. Like this, just watch. E, A, A. Now you try. E, A, A. What did you notice? Yes, my jaw started out fairly closed for E, then moved to neutral for A, and then moved to open for A. E, A, A. So what did your tongue do? Well, you probably found that your tongue position moved with your jaw. So when your jaw was almost closed, your tongue was high, meaning close to the roof of your mouth. And as your jaw opened, the tongue got lower. So when the tongue is low, the jaw is usually open. And when the tongue is high, the jaw is usually almost closed. So the tongue position can be high, with the jaw almost closed, mid position with a neutral jaw, or low when the jaw is open. Try it again. E, A, A. Simple. Now, we've looked at the up and down movement of your tongue. Now let's look at the front and back movement of your tongue. Say E. Eh. Jaw fairly closed, tongue neutral, is it rounded? No, I hope not, because it shouldn't be. Why? Because e eh is a front vowel. The sound is made by the front part of the tongue in the front of the mouth. Keep it there, e. Eh. Now put your finger on the tip of the tongue and say a. Ah. E, eh, a. Ah. What is your tongue doing? Well, it should have moved down as your jaw opened, but did it move back in the mouth? No? Good, because this is a front vowel too. Now say a ah, and place your finger back on your tongue and then say a. Ah. A, ah, a. Ah. What happened? Well, hopefully your jaw opened a bit more, your tongue moved down with it, but also you may have noticed that the tongue moved a little towards the back of your mouth. Yes? It's only slight. Yes. Good. Because this is called a central vowel. This means the centre of the tongue is raised towards a point in between the hard and soft palate. Well, now we're almost there. So, last but not least, let's look at the lip position. Well, generally speaking, when we say vowel sounds, the lips can be spread, neutral, rounded or forward. Now look at mine. E, A, A. E, A, A. So first, my lips are spread a little for E. Then, as the mouth opens for A, they are less spread. And then for A, the mouth opens more, but the lips are neutral. Now let's say them all separately. E, A, A. E, A, A. Now see if you can glide them all together. Like this. E, A, A. Now in reverse. A, A. Now let's do them once more separately. A, A, E. Now the other way. E, A, A. Good. 
Now, just for a little practice of the sounds, say this little verse to help you remember. When my jaw is closed, my tongue is high. When my jaw is open, my tongue is low. Spread your lips, relax your lips, tongue in the front or tongue at the back, or somewhere in between. So that's it. If you're still not sure, just go back and practice again until you get it right. Or you can try my videos here for even more practice. Until next time, love and peace.